Map two of the grand finals of Dawn of Legends it is going to be our control map. And of course, in the lead, our mutants straight away going to be TPing onto the point. I'm joined finally by Jace. There we go. Yeah, I, I can't hold time, but luckily both of these teams can. We're going to be getting into it for now. Honestly, the biggest thing I'm looking at is the map and control of the punishes. Both SJP and Cal have been so dominant and so important to both of these teams' success, and it's a big way to deal with these heavy tank lines that both of these teams are operating. Oh, we're just taking a lot of early damage here. Needs to be careful. Has the crow on out. The finish is not there. Moving into cover, but this is going to allow some early pressure on the point coming through from the side of Mutants. Paler has to move in in order to try and alleviate that, but you know that when you're moving in front of SJP, you're going to be taking some damage, and that's finally going to be control going over to the side of Mutants. Control is good for them. I mean, they've got the angles, the walls. Vinny's going to be able to do so much with this group. And I think the groups have been having such a tough time this tournament in general, the amount of pressure that comes out on them. It feels like they're always the ones to die first. But, I mean, DPS trades are the ones going in early. Yeah, Cal making early plays. They've managed to find the enemy. Oh, SJP. It's a risky ult to begin with, but seemingly thinks that it's worth it. The Loki shift is more than enough to try and take that one out. A huge fart grenade coming through from Paler blows up to unreal value coming through from the group. And this is what we need from Paler because we know that Vinny is a ridiculous high damage group yeah really good especially when you can give the the packs over and nuke again has been almost feels like everyone on this meeting team has, has at some point been fundamental to their success but as i've said many a time the rocket raccoon such an overloaded character uh, reverse is really going to have to compete with nuke today otherwise the amount of value the res is the ultimates the combo with sjp the combo with Vinny as well if we see that team up and down it might be too much to deal with Cal brings out the Punisher ultimate here. Plenty of damage, but is anyone going to bother to peek it? SJP tries their luck and is unlucky with this one. A big eye of Agamotto. TTK and Vinny, the tank duo. Unreal turnaround there after losing their Punisher early. God, TTK has been hitting some mega eyes today. Yeah, they have had so many just fat stuns with that. Of course, the soul being pulled out late into the ultimate to do the extra damage. This means you can really burst down anyone, assuming you've got the resources to look at them. For the side of the, the Craniac, though, Dust doesn't have the ultimate to respond, but Wisp has the Hella, the Halsey 130, as you've been calling it, like they I think it's going to be really important for them in this fight. They need to secure that long sight line. Hopefully look to maybe poke even Ant or Nuke out. And forced to disengage TTK, giving recovering fire here. I think there may well have been a Groot ult used by Paler elsewhere, but unaware of where that hit. In fact, I think they may well have fallen down and been killed in this fight. It's going to be difficult to try and move on to that point without the damage that the group brings to the table. Speaking of damage, Amplifier given over by Nuke. A copied use of the uh, Executioner, yes, from Frost, but is instantly taken on down. You don't have the group walls to try and cover for you. The shotgun from Cal, unlikely to be enough to try and carve through this, but already it's 82%. Now you've got to start thinking about economy for the next map. Yeah, I wonder if they give it up. Do they just elect to hold on to the all-important ultimates? And it looks like no reverse is committing to it. Chal has been rezzed, so they clearly think it's winnable. SJP wants to shut them down in their tracks. 95% now. You've got to move in and touch this point, and you've got to take out SJP first. And in fact, they have done. Harvey gets rezzed. Vinny's fallen down. And it seems like it was a good read here from reverse, getting that investment. They've managed to turn it around again. And they hang on for now. And at the very least, it's going to force the mutants to use more of their own ultimates to retake the point and even if they lose but they're not going to have them for the opening fight on second so it might just be a little bit of a trade for trade gambling potentially remember to gamble responsibly because right now the craniacs are looking to go a little bit all in and i mean it's working harvey dies nuke uses their own amp trying to exploit over extensions dust is actually in no man's land right now and sure to die unless there's massive help coming through ttk around the back they never see him coming it's a two-man eye of agamodo and paler and cow never stood a chance when ttk has got angs like this dust just overextended and couldn't cover the approach of the enemy dr strange now it's certain curtains for this map touching is going to be too difficult yeah absolutely great angle from ttk they call him the doctor after all he's got a phd and absolutely bitch slapping the bat line there <laughs> of the trainee acts and that's going to feel good for sure getting the first map up now you can really play ulti con going into owen's archive and the throne room gets a bit easier once you get that 1-0 up on the board i think particularly the fact that ults carry over is something that's an entirely new scenario we've never seen this 
in adjacent esports, so it really makes that final fight a little bit more decisive, potentially more punishable as well. These ultimates are way more valuable than you think, even though they charge so so fast. Compositionally, like they both of these teams are identically similar, so you really just have to sort of look at the mirror matchups. How are we looking for stats? Is there any demonstrable outliers in terms of the Groot versus Groot or the Punisher versus Punisher? Let's have a look. Stat line for me at the moment is Wisps, two and three. Not only unable to win those duels, but also not able to contribute to the majority of kills either that the rest of the team are finding. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's a bit of a comms issue here that Wisps just isn't able to get on with that uh, target focus. I think to be fair, Ant has been doing a good job at really keeping those angles away from Wisps. Both of them want to set up um, at basically the exact same spots. I think Ant has just been winning the mechanical 1v1. How many times have we seen snipers that can just out-snipe the other sniper? Don't want to completely dominate the rest of the map. They've got all the sight lines from there. But let's see. TP comes through from both teams. Let's to duel over this middle area. An attempt to wrap around the back. The Eye of Agamotto. Nice dodge coming through there. I can't move through. SJP actually dodges the Eye of Agamotto by, top, by going through the portal. Unbelievable dodges. Unfortunately, not quite as lucky when it comes to dodging what's coming through from Wisps and Ants. Still, these LC 130s are doing so much AoE damage here, and Reverse is absolutely in control of these zones. Still, the first cap goes the way of Mutants as they disengage from the high ground when those ultimates come out. And looks like Ant is just going to be more than happy to clean it up again. The angle from the Hella being demonstrated. You get run down in the back, actually, from Reverse, but that should just be the fight. And already, we're seeing the Mutants accrue percentage on the point. This is a bit of a long fight, actually. As yeah. Dust might get late staggered here. I'm not sure what the plan is here from Craniacs. As Dust goes down, this is not good for them. Did they get ultimates out of it? Honestly, no. Not really. I mean, I guess Pal has Punisher to immediately swing back like they, but I think with the, the Raccoon ultimate and the one important Loki copy from Harvey. Wait, Cal's making money moves. Trying to go in towards the back. The Eye of Agamotto doesn't really pick up that much, but the Amplified Punisher ult in the hands of SJP is going to be able to do plenty. Pale as all only exists hypothetically. Still, survival for the moment. And this should give enough time for a Resurrection Beacon to come up from reverse, actually. However, too many have already fallen down. I think this one's got to be called here for the side of Kaniacs. They desperately need to disengage and get themselves back together as a six for what could be the final fight of this map. It could be so, and you think not, maybe it's 62%, but these fights take so long. And really, the mutants are going to be able to stall it out. SJP already looking to get some pre-fight poke to build up towards another ultimate. It was theirs in the last fight that made all the difference. Really good performance from him, again on the Punisher. Every time we see this DPS combo from mutants, I've been impressed. And they're continuing to really make a name for themselves here in this tournament. Remember, among some very experienced, very high mechanically, um, intensive and um, exceptional players Judge from other pro theory. Absolutely the case, Cal. They pull out the ultimate that's needed. Plenty of damage, but they can't really find the kills here. It's going to be another amplifier coming out of Harvey, having copied Nuke here and giving that extra respawn beacon over as well. So Vinny's returned and maybe Ant will be able to as well. TTK finally falling over. Chainiacs have managed to get themselves on the point and it was fairly cheap as well with only Cal's ultimate buying positional superiority. Yeah, great advantage. Most of the mutants in this fight were stacked in the back right corner, basically with SJP looking for the angle. Nothing managed to happen though, but they get watched on by Pella and Cho. I think this might be the late stage, so some all important exit percentage here for the uh, Craniacs. Remember, they're already down 0-1, so really they can't afford to lose this round or the next one. So any percentage, any ultimate they force is absolutely crucial. They've effectively got to get 200% unanswered there. It's going to be so, so difficult for them. But they're getting there one by one. Going to be a battle between these Doctor Stranges. Oh, Vinny taken out early. Likely to be resed here, I imagine. Oh, maybe you haven't set up your res beacon this close to spawn because you worry about having it later on. TTK as well. The staggers coming in. Wisps should be resed up. Yep, and TTK as well. But Vinny's going to take a little bit of a time to return. And once again, the Strangers are going to be trying to contest each other's attention in order to get that all-important eye of Agamotto. is going to be taking a lot more damage on the shield here comparative to Dust due to the proximity of Cal. 
Oh, SJP amplified on the judge during execution. Now that's going to force a disengagement. And remember with that broken shield, TTK. Oh, what a stun. Oh, SJP and Vinny together. The stun is huge indeed. Catches out. Frost actually gets Cal off the map. Cal might have been stunned during a zip line there and just had to throw themselves into the abyss. That's going to be overtime. Touching unlikely. And that's going to be a second map going the way of mutants. Mutants take it. And what a wombo combo. That is one angry tree. And that is one man with a whole hooting lane in sight. And they're never going to miss from that range. Perfect combo from the Garut and the Punisher to seal that one up from Mutants. Man, all it takes is one ultimate. Six on the board overall. And all it took was one. What a play from Vinny on the Groot.